We all have them. Fears, doubts, insecurities, they're all perfectly human. But here's the thing. Sometimes those non-serving behaviors and thoughts can really hold us back from letting go of the past, moving ahead in the future, and learning how to love ourselves fully. For me, before I started filming these weekly blogs, I was consumed by thoughts of unworthiness, that I wasn't good enough, that I was going to fail, and it really made me want to give up on the project. But once I recognized that all it was was just fear that was holding me back, I was able to acknowledge it, release it, and let it go. So one of the ways that I learned how to do this was creating a candle ceremony. And it is such a gentle and beautiful way to acknowledge and recognize what's not serving you and then letting it go, releasing it. So for this ceremony, you want a really nice quiet space in your home. It can be in your altar or your sacred area. And you just wanna light a candle and sit really quiet and comfortable in front of it, focusing on the flame with a really soft gaze. Just check in, make sure that you're comfortable, you're not holding any tension, and start to breathe really deep into your belly for three long breaths, just in through your nose and out through your mouth, right down into your stomach. Just relaxing and tuning into how you're feeling. Then when you begin to feel like you've relaxed and you are in touch with what's happening inside, begin to think of the behavior of the thought that you're ready to release. So for me, it would be fear. So I would physically feel how fear manifests in my body, how it makes me tense, my breathing changes, how I feel overwhelmed and, and constricted. And for you, whatever the behavior or the thought is, how it manifests physically inside your body, how that makes you feel. Then when you've got a good understanding of how uncomfortable that thought or behavior makes you feel, imagine it now that it has been released, that it's out of your body, it's no longer living inside of you. How does that make you feel? Do you feel lighter? Do you feel more comfortable? Can you breathe deeper? Are you more relaxed? Do you feel like a weight's been lifted off your shoulders? And imagine how your life would look without that ever have even existed in the first place. That without fear, my life would be a lot less um, stressful, that I would be able to create what I wanted to create, I'd have more creativity and more vitality towards the projects that I really love. So continue to focus on what your life looks like now and how your body feels now that you've released and let go of whatever it was that wasn't serving you. Then take a small piece of paper and write that behavior or thought on a piece of paper. Hold it to the flame of the candle and watch as it smokes and it burns and it disintegrates into ash and then into nothing, which is really all it was to begin with. It's just nothing. Then I like to sit for about 10 minutes and just really meditate or integrate that feeling of how more positive or the positive impact that letting go of whatever it was, how that impacts my life. Just breathe and relax into that. Then I like to take a bath or a shower, having a really gorgeous sort of long, warm, hot soak in an Epsom salts bath is really clearing and is such a beautiful way to end, end the ceremony. And so that's all there is to it. And it really is such a great way to clear yourself out on your love your sexy self journey. I do it about once a week, no more. I really like to integrate whatever it is that I have released to make sure that I feel the benefits into my daily life. But you can also do that same ceremony multiple times during the week if you feel like it's still feeling quite stuck or hasn't fully left your body. I'd love to hear from you if you've had any success with the candle ceremony or if you have any other tips or techniques of letting go stagnant and stale emotions or behaviors that aren't serving you anymore. Next week, I've got a wonderful video about my altar where I'll take you behind the scenes where I like to meditate and clear. And until I see you next week, take care of your sexy selves. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.